This is Lieutenant Tiny Dancer here, and last time on Fetty Scum. We finally blew the guile of the sky. Unfortunately, it started heading straight for the Inverness. The rookie and Jack helped me divert its course to barely miss the ship. But that wasn't all of our troubles, as Azaku made it out just in time to start wreaking havoc on the deck. I'm gonna have a lot to fix later. And what's new, Jack did something stupid and ejected from his tin cod just to have a word with Azaku's pilot. Lucky for us, he can be very persuasive sometimes. There are no soldiers in Xeon, so we are certain to be victorious in this war! war, war, war. Inverness is moving on its way to California base along with the uh, other ships in that I don't know if you can even call it an armada but it's uh, the, the, the surviving ships fleeing from the Seattle Vancouver area. On the Inverness it's still quite a bit of a uh, hustle. People are running around trying to get stuff done you've, t you've taken on a lot of civilians now you've taken on a lot of uh, prisoners of war people who swum up to the surface after the gaw went under. We just had like a big net. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> caught a bunch of them. Yeah, uh, you have a lot of Xeon prisoners of war now in the brig, uh, including uh, Lieutenant Commander Sturgeon. You have a lot of civilians on, on the on, in the lower decks in the safest areas you can put them in, but um, really there's no completely safe place for a civilian to be on uh, on a battleship, probably. The front of the Inverness took some damage from the Zaku's attacks, and everyone's trying to basically uh, d do a, a, a whole host of things. Everyone's very busy, you know, running around, and that's where y'all are gathered onto the deck of the ship. You're gathered by Lieutenant Patter, uh, the, the second in command of the ship. We're about we're about to get our medals, aren't we? Uh, <laughs> Medals of Honor. He gathers you to the bridge. Uh, the, the sun's setting now, and uh, not the bridge, but the uh, deck. Uh, the sun's setting now. Uh, people are running around. Uh, you know, mechanics, supply people carrying uh, ammunition, torches, uh, you know, welding torches, stuff like that. To you know, repairing various parts of the ship, including your uh, your saber fishes and the uh, the tin cod that was fished out of the, the, <laughs> the bay uh, that uh, Lieutenant Gether uh, just, oh, kind yeah. of, just kind of bailed on and let it crash in the bay. <laughs> Yeet. That is in mostly one piece. Gonna need some extensive repairs more likely than not. I have so much work. <clears throat> no, it's not gonna need uh, repairs. It can right. fly. I know my ship. Alright, so Patter has gathered you. Y you we were originally told to appear here by Captain Godfrey, but Captain Godfrey is not here. Uh, second in command, Patter is here. Patter <laughs> is frantic, you know, looks very nervous. Uh, all right, Ensigns um, uh, from Bravo Squad. Um, yes, so, uh, yeah, great job out there and uh, everything, but uh, as you can see, uh, now that uh, we're on our way, uh, we have about two or three days to get to California base, and we are already you know, pretty much running on fumes in every department. So um, I've been appointed to kind of direct you to some temporary duties that you can use to uh, alleviate some of the, uh, the, 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 the issues around the ship. Uh, but basically kind of a, you know, an all-hands-on-deck kind of situation. But no, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of inept at everything but piloting. And, and that's why uh, you're gonna uh, be, be handing out food in the in the in the cafeteria. There's a lot of refugees. Uh, there's very little food to go around. Um, okay, so you're, you're, it's not a lot of food. No, nope. no. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess that's what I'll do. <laughs> Instant, Instant Mitchell. Um, oh yeah, that's me. Uh, 
Yes. You're short staffed in the, the medical bay. If you could go and help out there, that would be uh, ideal. Um, no, sir. I'm just kidding. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, sir, what will I be doing? Uh, they need you in the brig. Oh, boy. So, <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Like, just, uh, Lieutenant, make your way to the uh, the brig as uh, shortly as possible. It's and, because of uh, my massive body, right? Um, he just turns away from you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what rank is he at, Captain? No, he's Lieutenant. Uh, he's same rank as me. Much. some Lieutenant ass. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant's in love. Oh, God, that's a horrible. Lieutenant's in love. Is that the new right. episode name? <laughs> That's why I'm putting it if it gets to that. Oh, yeah, Lieutenant's in love. <laughs> it all depends on how Gather plays this situation. Let's not. If it gets to Lieutenant's in love. Cards, hey, right, Gather. Uh, Lieutenant, you want to hear a harmonica solo? Ooh. Not, uh, uh, you know, not <laughs> at Blushes the and turns away. <laughs> <laughs> no, God. Okay. We got um, it from here, Adam. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> just let We're not going to do none of that fade to black shit. No, no. Always going to fade to black on anything like that. Uh, anything gets sexual, fade to black. Not that kind of... It's not that kind of RP. It is now. <laughs> so, and then he turns to Tiny after ignoring a few comments from Gather and uh, says that... Uh, Captain Godfrey wants uh, you, Lieutenant Dancer, to uh, take a look over the Zaku we captured, and uh, with you know your 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 other uh, subordinates to try to repair it as best you can. Yes, sir. I think I can handle that. All right. Thank you. Uh, you're dismissed. If you need me for anything, uh, if you can find me, uh, I'll might be able to help at some point. I maybe. Bye. Wait, wait, sir, sir, where where will you be? Yeah, he's he's. I'm already having him. a lot of questions like about this it, this cafeteria business. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of confused. Him. He, he, he just, <laughs> Lieutenant Patter completely hears you, but like he's fast walking and just like <laughs> smiling and waving. Wow, wow, he's fast. He's looking Shoot at star. his clipboard. Um, they really don't prepare you for this stuff in flight school, Lone Star. Don't worry, man. We can do this. Bye. <laughs> I'm just gonna like take. I'm like taking a really uh, dramatic look around, and I'm like, "Damn it!" <laughs> and I'm just like chain smoking cigarettes now. There's just so much. So I Lone Star run to the uh, medical <laughs> area. Okay. <laughs> and is everyone else heading? Uh, Mad Gun, you heading off to the brig? No, I'm following the lieutenant. Suggestive. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, We're I'm getting off to the brig. Okay, okay, okay. You go into the brig. Got it. <laughs> and uh, Dallas, co-pilot. You well, I guess. I guess I gotta go do other stuff other than piloting and hanging out. Okay. You got this, co-pilot. <laughs> okay, I guess. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I never did anything other than those two things. Okay, let's just go do that then. You got it, kid. Well, thanks. I, I don't know, though. Okay, I'm going to start walking to the, <laughs> the cafeteria. Just bumming everyone the fuck out. I don't know. Kind of useless All right. later. Um, <laughs> now I'm pulling out my flask because, wow. <laughs> Now that I have uh, smartly split the party, Ooh, uh, he split us up Scooby style. We gonna get butt I'm walking Scooby down towards style. the brig, and I hear "Good day, mate." And I turn around. I'm like, "Hold up, now. You're not. From <laughs> You're not from Sydney. Oh, I'm a Sydney boy. <laughs> boy, I'm a Sydney boy. I used to hang with the dingoes and the <laughs> alligators and the crocodiles and all the kangaroos. And in the, the shrimps. On the barbies. In, in the snow. Okay, um, I guess we'll start with Tiny, since you're kind of already where you need to be. True. So She never so gets tiny. to actually go inside. <laughs> She's always on She's the always deck. She's always on the deck drinking or smoking. <laughs> 
I work sometimes too. All right, either working, <laughs> drinking, or smoking. All right, Tiny. Um, so you're looking at uh, the Zaku. Zaku's just kind of laying there on the deck of the ship, kind of restrained now in that, uh, you know, kind of like a, uh, you know, a knocked out King Kong kind of restraints. Yeah, yeah. yeah. N- not because it's going to, like, you know, <laughs> wake <laughs> You know, <laughs> rawr, 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 <laughs> it's it, it's it's just so it it's fall secured off for ship. cargo transport. Yes, yes, exactly. But in your head, the thought does not escape that it looks like King Kong and it's gonna rawr, rawr, and <laughs> that ancient movie King Yikes. Kong. So tiny, what's your um? I think I named the second in command, but I can't. I honestly, I cannot remember the second in command that for for your uh, maintenance people. Um, so you let her want, name them. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Do you have a name for uh, the uh, lieutenant that is under you? Do the fish. Keep doing the fish thing. Name him uh, Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> lieutenant Jaws. <laughs> Her Jaws. <laughs> I mean, we could keep doing the fish thing if you can't come up with anything. I was, well... I Nemo. I wanted I kind of wanted to do Darn. this lame thing where uh, so I have all this like Elton John stuff you know yes so I was trying to think like do I do that or do I do someone else like um Lieutenant Meatloaf hey like, maybe like <laughs> like, like Rhapsody or or <laughs> Mercury <laughs> Lieutenant Mercury hey. Yeah, that's Mercury. Cool. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. That is, and that Mercury is, is like a uh, you can relate that to fish too. Yeah, yeah because because yeah, there, there's it. Mercury in fish or something, right? Yeah, hell yeah! Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Look at that shit, everyone. It all works out in the end. We're all looking at the audience now. Wow! Now we're like hugging <laughs> each other and singing Kumbaya. I'm gonna search <laughs> to see if there's Mercury in fish. Dude, there's Wait, so there, much mercury in fish. There is, They're sometimes. actually from mercury. It's conspiracy no, theory. No, okay, stop. Now you're... <laughs> fish no. and shellfish con- have concentrated mercury in their bodies. Yeah. See what I say, y'all? So don't eat fish or you'll die. No, yeah. that's not... You will you die. Get mercury poison. I've never met a person you who ate a fish die. and lived. God wills it's it. That's just because I'm not a person. Exactly. Here at Fetty Scum, we're not legally responsible for you not or eating too much fish. Yeah, we get sued because someone didn't die from eating a fish. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn it. Die. Yeah. I was supposed are, to die, damn it. <laughs> we are not a health podcast. Were you wanting me to, like, uh, give, give uh, Mercury some, some orders or something? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I was going to introduce him. Uh, oh, okay, go ahead. So, depending on, like, do, do you have any, since you named him, do you have any specifications as to what, what Lieutenant Junior Grade Mercury is like? Or do you just want me to, I don't know. Slender big mustache. <laughs> yeah, okay. He has a fantastic mustache, and he really likes cats. <laughs> All right. You picked that up on it. All right. I, I can work with those two things that are hardly going to be relevant. Yes. <laughs> and then sometimes, I don't know, like maybe he busts out in different parts of Bohemian Rhapsody. I am not doing that. Maybe his okay. cats are on the ship, so he's have constantly you, worried about them. Cat, have you heard my speaking voice? Do you know what I sound like? Do you think <laughs> nope. I can burst out singing parts of Bohemian Rhapsody and have anyone in I mind? I mean, he wouldn't sing it. He would just say... <laughs> <laughs> like lyrics? <laughs> would he just quote lyrics? Fandango! I don't know. <laughs> All right. So, no, uh, he's working. He, he's working. He's just like, I'm just a small boy. <laughs> Just kill. Sorry, I'm okay. It's fine. One of us kills somebody. You just killed a man. <laughs> you shot him. Now he's dead. Okay. See, like, I don't. I'm down for it. Let's do it. I don't want to do that because you have me constantly thinking about no what lyrics. lyrics I can shove in versus no, how to actually like move the one by the dust, move the story forward in any way. No, it's okay. I will just do it in my head. Oh. <laughs> this is just for her. We don't have to be a part of this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're not we're not singing Yellow Brick Road for Elton John, so it's fine. 
All right, so Lieutenant Mercury uh, reports. Um, he's uh, standing in front of you, uh, kind of at attention. Uh, would he call you Tiny, or would he call you Lieutenant? Or uh... Oh, Lieutenant Dancer. Okay. So he's like, uh, reporting Lieutenant Dancer, I have a full report on everything. All right. <clears throat> Give me the spiel. All right, so the Zaku has some knee damage that we possibly can repair with some, uh, so, some of the spare parts we have around here. It's not going to be a full repair because obviously we don't, you know, we have really no experience with mobile suits. This is the first time I actually saw one in uh, real life. So there's that. Uh, the camera eye, uh, that we really have nothing to repair the camera eye at this point in time. That's the seems to be the main camera of the mobile suit. Um, so I, I don't I don't have any ideas on that. Um, but the knee's doable. The knee's doable. Uh, the other big ticket item is uh, Lieutenant Gether's tin cod. Jesus. Apparently he just bailed out of it and it uh, just kind of went into the water at full speed. Um, we fished it out, but it's 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 a lot worse for wear than uh, we, we kind of expected. Well, I, I mean, I actually know. I'm, I'm kind of surprised it didn't just explode when it hit the water. <laughs> but those things are death You just hear in the distance, My ship's not at that old. Fuck you. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, those things are death traps. to upgrade that thing a long time ago. Well, no. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, so, um, I can devote some time to reporting, uh, repairing the tin cod, or I can turn most of my focus to the Zaku, but like I said, the uh, efforts are going to be limited just because of what I have at hand and, uh, you know, what's physically possible. We can't manufacture a giant camera lens. All right, so... What I want you to do right now is I want you to do some research on the Zaku and handle repairing the knee, and then I'm just going to completely rebuild the um, tin cod. All right, aye aye, ma'am. And he, uh, I like a challenge. She likes he to head- roll those dice. He heads off to um, start doing research uh, along with uh, some other uh, crew members under him on the Zaku. Um, looking around the cockpit and stuff and uh, handling basic repairs on the knee, um, which would basically be uh, about kind of uh, adding support to the damaged joint itself. But uh, anything beyond that, hmm, probably can't actually pull off. Um, so for you, you want to repair the tin cod. All right. Yes. So uh, there's a lot of things wrong with the tin cod, and that was before it crashed into the water. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was too perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, uh, what would you like to focus on repairing uh, first? There are a few um, different sections. I'm just going to call them sections that are broken. Uh, so, the hull and is weakened. The armor is weakened, and currently, only the Vulcans work on it. None of the missiles trigger. And so I'm going to let you repair two of the three. So you can repair the hull, you can repair the armor, or you can have the missiles working. Well, I guess I'm going to work on the hull and the missiles. So um, go ahead and make a roll for that then. And if you roll a complete success, you will repair both of those features on uh, Mad Gun's tin cod. Yeah, I rolled uh, a six. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, I know. All right. <laughs> so no matter how much time you seem to sp- uh, like put into the tin cod, the, the, it's almost like the more you work on it, the more broken it gets. Like as you fix something, <laughs> the thing that you're holding on to, to brace yourself while you turn a, a nut just snaps off. Oh um, God! How's my shit? Oh God, no! <laughs> it's it, it's just all, it's it, it's just literally falling apart. You are surprised this thing flew in the last decade. <laughs> Adam, I do have to uh, ask you a question about melodrama moves. Yes. So, is it when we do something that uh, it talks about that we get an RP yes. point? Yes. And you you mark it. So if you say. Um, let me look at yours. When improving yeah. or creating, treat a mixed success as a full success. So, 
if you in the instance where you have improved and created and you get a mixed success and you then get to use that as a full success you get to mark that um, when okay. repairing a vehicle or device that is not yours gain a plus one so you actually got a uh an rp and a melodrama point from that so mark that one and then that would have bumped you from a six to a seven which is a mixed yeah. success so which okay. of the two things uh would you like to repair you said you wanted to repair either the uh armor or the missiles right or the hull or the missiles. the hull yeah. or the missiles okay so which one of those two would you like to repair since you had a mixed success with your your melodrama move oh god if it's for mad gun i feel like i have to do the missiles okay um so missiles are reloaded and um uh full i really don't want him to get out there at this well you could tell him that i just would feel responsible for his life <laughs> if anyway. he died uh, is there anything you want to do to uh wrap that up like you you've made a little bit of a repair a little bit of headway um, is there anything else you want to do before we move on to everyone else's kind of intermediary task? I just, uh, I want to have, like, a quick powwow with, like, my crew of mechanics. Okay. And so I kind of gather them around, and, and I, uh, I want to give one of my good motivation speeches. All right, well, they're all around there. They, they're, they're, they're aware of you. Uh, they, you know, they know who you are, so, uh, they're, they... They kind of know the quality of speech they're in for. Um, uh, Mercury's around there, too. So uh, they've all taken a break to uh, away from their work um, and are like being very... Uh, they they've all taken a knee, so to speak. <laughs> Excellent. All right, guys. Look around. This place is a shit show. They but you got of, it. They all you kind got of it. A little bit. And you, over there, yeah, you got it. All right, <laughs> guys, get out there. Uh, uh, she, she smiles, Do does a thumbs stuff. up. Yeah, mm -hmm. random person you pointed at. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm not in, not in the crew, but okay. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just some random my... civilian. What are, what are you, you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I just saw everyone gathered around. I thought it would be cool to just walk over here. You don't get it. Oh get out of here. God, I take it back. Thumbs <laughs> down. Get okay, out of here. Bye. bye. You big disgrace. <laughs> Taking your can all over the place. I, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I just continue to, you know, chain smoke cigarettes after that, and like, kind of doing like, graded and gestures towards the Lieutenant mm -hmm. Kevers. Ship. <laughs> just mad, like freaking mad at it. Like, why? I am. Why I'm just like, this poor K. <laughs> All right. Um, all the things we have, he flies this. This thing that should not fly. Is the magic in the man or the machine? Is he a new tech? <gasps> all right. Uh, Lone Star. Um, yeah. You are heading to the med bay. I'm already there. It took me 20 seconds flat. I don't, I don't think that's humanly possible. The Lone Star Run. Medbay oh, was only man. 10 seconds away. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I had to take a quick down? break. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway through. I ran out, of, ran, ran out of breath for a second. So you get into the med bay. There are some, what you assume to be uh, doctors. They're wearing white coats. I guess you don't, uh, you're not particularly familiar with them, but uh, you'd assume them to be doctors. I think it's a safe assumption if they're wearing white coats. All right, Doc, where you need me? She's like, oh, uh, more more help. Okay, um, hmm. All right, uh, see everyone on that wall over there? Yeah. And she points to the far wall, and there's, like, some civilians there. Uh, they just have, like, some minor scrapes and bruises. Uh, if you just bandage them real quick, it'll be... Before she's able to finish uh, with uh, telling you how she could... Uh, how you could help her, a civilian pops their head in. It's, um... Just a, they a, pop a their head man. in out, dude. No, no, no. <laughs> pop, 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 pops their head into the doorway and is like, hey, could I get some help? Like, I, someone needs some help. You got it. And like the doctor kind of just nods at you. It's like, yes, yes. Oh, cool, cool. I nod back. Okay. Do a little wink. Uh, run. So you go with the civilian. The civilian's leading you um, down into uh, 
the corridors of the ship. And as you, as you walk down through the ship, you you know, there's civilians just kind of in the hallways and stuff. There's, uh, you know, lots of people around. The, 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 the lower decks are just packed full of people. All right. Um, but you get you get he, he he leads you to this uh one back area of the ship and there's fewer people around here and there's just a civilian who is on the ground moaning in pain and naked. Just need a bandage, right? Uh no, I think he needs to be carried to med bay. All okay. right, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can yeah, I pick no, him up? How- I'm going to use my strength. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. If you're trying to pick him up alone, you're definitely going to need a little bit of a strength test. For sure. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try to to flex on this dude. Got it. Uh, he's willing to help. He actually started to help you lift the guy under one shoulder. And I'm like, don't other, hurt but, yourself. Yeah, basically. He's like, oh, um, okay. <laughs> All right, he's here wa- we go. He's watching now, <laughs> so you better not fuck this up. All right. Uh, <laughs> use brute force. Here we go. Nine. <laughs> All right. So you, you mostly succeed. You get it up there. But like when it comes to actually dragging and moving him, it's a little difficult. And the other guy kind of gets under the other arm while you're, you kind of have a brief moment of struggling. Kind of slowing me down. But if you want to feel important, that's cool. Uh, yeah, let's just, uh, you know, get him to med bay. How about that? OK. So you and the civilian are carrying this guy to med bay. The guy's completely unconscious he's just like <laughs> um he's nude as well i don't know if i mentioned that oh god <laughs> how big is it yeah I'm, how I'm big is it de- i'm not gonna describe his junk but dude you, you're the dm you gotta be descriptive i'm using my dude. eyes here okay i'm looking at his dick how big is it average how big is his one how about? big is average <laughs> how big is average <laughs> <laughs> Um, He's got like the ruler ready right now. Just, <laughs> well, let's just. Okay, How big let's is say, this? <laughs> let, let's say he's a grower, not a shower. How about that? Okay. So he's normal, right? Right? Yeah. Yes, normal. His his normal size. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the normal size. We all know that. That size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I look um, at his penis, not intimidated. Penis. Go pff, and look, look away. <laughs> Just like, pff, All right. and just look back forward. <laughs> <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> whatever, dude. <laughs> I even kind of mumble it. Cool I kind of even dick. mumble that. I'm like, whatever, dude. He, 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 he moans again. He's like, Ugh. <laughs> and like, he turns his head and you can see that he's bleeding from the head. Like he kind of bumped his head or something. Oh, shit. Not like profusely bleeding from the head, but like there's blood running, anime blood running down. Oh no! You know, <laughs> the head. Not 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 no not 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 cut, not cut in half by Rioni Kenshin blood. Uh, <laughs> just just like you know, ooh, I have some blood running from my hairline. Yeah, I got you. Got so it. So he looks kind of cool. Yeah, he looks intimidating. Or nude, being carried by two men. Yes. <laughs> what a badass. <laughs> Watch out, he might go super sad. Okay, so I'm carrying this naked man. What's the doc's name? I didn't even... Hey, what's your name, man? I'm asking the guy uh, who's the not doctor's unconscious. Not, the, the guy helping you is yeah. not a doctor. He's oh, he's not a doctor? Another, he's just another civilian who came in there saying you need some help. Okay. Um, he's just like, uh, my, my name's... Uh, I'm, I'm going to say that his name is Michael Tort. So, Michael Tork? Uh, yeah, my name's Michael Tort. T-O-T. T O R T. Like tortilla? Tort. Oh, tortilla. Kind okay, of like, tort. Kind of like tortilla, sure. Okay. Nice That's to meet you, Michael. That's definitely what I'm, definitely I'm what I'm star. implying with that last name. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Good to meet you too. Uh, you know, wish it was under uh, better circumstances. You know, there's a more efficient way to carrying this guy. It's called the uh, Lone Star Run. Ah, uh, yeah, I think this is working fine. You know. Eh, all just... right. <laughs> Not all of us can handle the Lone Star Run. It's fine. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Shooting star. Who <laughs> whispered shooting star? <laughs> what do you mean? I don't think anyone whispered shooting star. Huh? I didn't hear it. Yeah, I didn't hear anything. That's weird. Okay, so you get him to the med bay. The doctor turns when she sees you entering the med bay with this uh, this nude man who is wounded in the head. She immediately is like, oh, oh, over here, over here, and 
kind of ushers some civilians who were sitting on a bunk slash stretcher uh, kind of off of it and to make room for uh, this guy. So we set him down. Mm -hmm. Nice and gentle. Don't touch his dick. Uh, yeah, very careful not to do that, right? Oh, whew. That was close. <laughs> Uh, the doctor starts looking him over, uh, you know, uh, holding up his eyelids, shining light into them, stuff like that. Uh, like, yeah, he has a, a pretty major head injury, probably probably concussed. Thanks for bringing him here as, as quickly as you did. Of and, course. Uh, she looks at both you and uh, Michael. M Michael just nods and uh, is kind of starts walking off. Is there anything else you need? Uh, not, not at the moment. Uh, you're, you're free to help wherever else you can find uh, a need to help. I guess I'll Lone Star run back to uh, the deck. Okay, you are, uh, you're back at the deck. Um, first, before we continue, though, we're gonna switch to Mad Gun. All right. So you're at the brig, Mad Gun. Sure is dark in here. No, you, <laughs> you can't just. <laughs> You can't just describe the scene like that. You have to... <laughs> so, Man, so... Adam says it sure is dark in here. No, <laughs> I didn't, though. I haven't. All right. <laughs> describe the scene. So, so I'm, it... in, I'm in this nondescript brig. No, I, no... I will describe it, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's, it's a... bright in here. It's a... <laughs> <laughs> so it's a long hallway with a series of uh, closed doors with small uh, reinforced glass uh, and barred windows. Sure are a lot um, of doors with windows in here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, it is moderately lit well enough for the inside of a ship. There's some officers uh, uh, messing around. Uh, they are uh, kind of arguing with each other. They're... Uh, a bit farther down in the hall. Uh, you can kind of overhear them. Uh, they're arguing about uh, which one of them has to uh, bring in food to a particular prisoner. All right. Well, um, I guess I'll step up and be like, what are you two discussing? He wants me to serve food to that asshole pointing at the cell. Um, after what he said to me, I refuse. Guy doesn't have to eat. <laughs> He's I can't deal with him. I can't handle him. He's just No. I'm not going back in there. And then he leaves. And the other guy is kinda like, Well, will will you do it? Well can't you do it? I mean I could. Um, but I have these other blocks to deliver food to and stuff. Um, Give me that fucking plate. Okay. <laughs> I wanna examine the plate. It's um, it's it's just like your regular rations for an officer that you would have on the ship. I want to pick the good stuff off of. <laughs> uh, what are you eating it? Are you just eating this prisoner? I'm taking food? the good stuff out of it. Yeah. Okay. Where where are you putting the good stuff? Mouth. In my <laughs> yeah, in my mouth. <laughs> okay, so you're taking this plate of food and you're just <laughs> picking food off of it and putting it in your mouth in front of this guy. Well, I mean, to be fair, the guy just kind of shrugs and is like, all right, you know, you handle it. And then continues, uh, you know, down the hall and uh, <laughs> basically giving food to other cells. I guess I'm going to knock on the door and get the prisoner's attention. All right. So there's a guard by this particular door that they pointed at. Um, and the guard's like, well, the prisoner's restrained for uh, interrogation. So they're not going to be able to get the plate. You're going to have to put the plate on the table in front of them. Okay. Who do I see inside? Um, it, it's Lieutenant Commander uh, Sturgeon. Oh, hey, how's it going? I uh, wish I could have brought you better food, but you know what I said about officers on this ship? I'm going to hand him the plate. Uh, uh, well, he, he's, he's handcuffed <laughs> to a chair. He can't, he can't grab the plate. Man, you so, can't do anything, can you? <laughs> You're just useless, like, aren't you? Oh, I see how it is. I refuse to talk, and so they send in their brute. Hmm. Just like the Federation. Oh, man, I'm just here to give you a plate. Uh, I, I really don't have time for this. Oh, of course. Of course. A plate of poison food. I see. You really think me an imbecile? Man, you can eat it or you can starve, man. I mean, it's it's, it's really up to you. Fine, fine. I'm just going to set set this here. I'm going to set okay. it just out of his reach. 
<laughs> real, real funny. What? Um, oh yeah, that's right. I'm the, sorry. You're handcuffed. The I'm guard, uh, just the guard, a little closer. The guard comes in and he's like, "Oh yeah, for, uh, sorry. Hold on, I, I forgot." Uh, he undoes one of the handcuffs. Hold on. Wh- which hand do you write with? He's like, "I'm not going to tell you." <laughs> and he just looks off. To I don't the think side you should be. Un- I don't think you should be uncuffed. Then I mean. You know what I mean? I mean, he, he uh, the guard was like, oh, I saw him right with his right hand. I guess he could uncuff his left. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's a good call. Did you uh, check his throat for any bobby pins or anything? Uh, uh, <laughs> you shouldn't do so long. long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> He, he makes that noise while sliding out of frame. and <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm going to have to induce vomiting. You don't no. have anything I need to know about, right? No, no. Look, look, look I promise I you do not put fingers down my throat. Do not. He wasn't going to put a finger down your throat, buddy. <laughs> Who said anything about fingers? <laughs> <laughs> That's a horrible joke. <laughs> I got one of these tongue depressors right here. <laughs> Stick my fingers down your throat. Yeah. It's gross. <laughs> That's unsanitary. All right. He 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 um. You know he he holds out his tongue and opens his mouth like ah. See, I don't have anything. Just let me eat my food. You sit there and watch me eat my food like you know the guard's supposed to. <laughs> and I'll eat it quick, and you can leave, and then I don't have to see you. Ever again, and you don't have to see me ever again. And when my men break me out of here, didn't say that aloud. Um, yeah, <laughs> bye. I like how Sturgeon lost his accent. I'm sorry, I can't do it all the time. <laughs> do you want me to? Do you want me to re-deliver that line? I want you to re-deliver no, no, line with the accent, or I'm not going to respond. <laughs> I didn't all hear right. anything. <laughs> Gotta get my little dice out. Hold on. It's like, what are you doing? You're getting some kind of dice out. Yes, we're gonna play a game. <laughs> oh no! Um, oh no! 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 It's called <laughs> "How many fingers down your throat?" <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> how hard am I gonna have to hit you until you tell me what I want to know? <laughs> so you're going to torture. Ooh, boy. All right. <laughs> yeah. Starting up the Titans early. I, see. I rolled a four. So what were you trying to do? Like you need that to say you that. Rolled a two. Yeah, yeah. You need to say that before. Yeah, I know. I saw Snake Eyes. It's it's a hard failure. So what were you trying to do? I imagine we all wear fucking gloves because it looks like they all wear fucking gloves and the anime. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just start to take my gloves off, real nice, so like one finger at a time. You know, I'm just okay. <laughs> one finger. You don't want right, so, to. You don't want to talk. We'll, we'll we'll get you talking. So you're trying to intimidate. <laughs> yes, that was a very poor intimidation rule. Okay, and so you were trying to use convince others using, uh, I guess, your body. Yes. Okay. Um, well, you rolled Snake Eyes, so that's a hard failure. So not only does Lieutenant Commander Sturgeon kind of just scoff at your idea. Oh, what does a scoff, scoff sound like? Ha! 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 Shit. The last person that was in here tried to slowly take off his glove in an intimidating manner. <laughs> After the first five times you see it, it gets a little, you know, trite. You're insane. God! God! <laughs> uh, the guard comes in and is like, what are you doing? You're just supposed to feed him. I, t- I told him to leave. I was like, get out of here. I'm interrogating. No. Uh, <laughs> yes. No, it's my responsibility to watch over the prison. You, you're not the interrogator. You're supposed to give him food. <laughs> I gave him food, and now I'm asking him questions. It's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn? I don't understand this. What's going on? Okay, uh, but no, Matt, the hard move I'm taking against your failure to intimidate is that the guard <laughs> saw you do it and is like, hey, no, don't fucking talk to the prisoner. Your conversation ends there. I just ruled a fucking 10. That sucks. You can... S- no, you can't save it. I'm not gonna let you save it. Fuck that. Can I have his 10, Adam? No. No, no I'll, I'll take his 10. Can you donate it? I'm saving my 10. Fan. His it's my 10. 10. His tin is going to go to St. Jude's Hospital. All right. no, I'm don't, don't make a jo- joke about St. Jude's. Why did I set that up for you? Okay. All right. So I'm just going to be like, fine, and I'm going to walk out. And All I'm right. going to go find something to spend my tin on. 
So as you are, <laughs> as you are leaving uh, the prisoner's cell, you know the guards locking the door. Uh, you, you you hear Sturgeon's like, I, I still haven't eaten. I, I'm still cuffed. I can't eat. Uh, is anyone gonna help me with that no, at all? No, you just and ignore him. It becomes muffled. It's like, hello, hello, anyone? No. Don't do that. Hey everyone, it's Dallas Welk, and you're listening to the first melodrama-only episode of Fetty Scum. That's right, no long air battles. It's Adam's way of getting us to do all the work and making the episode interesting. We'll start out with some shout-outs. Uh, the first shout-out is to some silent guy for sharing us on Instagram, Andy Danger for some nice words on Twitter, and Deniable Assets for giving us our second iTunes review. If you would like a shout out during our commercial spot, all you have to do is review us on iTunes or share us on social media. Just let us know, and we'll give you a shout out. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Fetty Scum. We'd also like to thank everyone who's gotten up with us about being a guest on our show. We are currently trying to figure out the best way to have guest spots, and we'll probably start out with our friends and other podcasters. So expect some new voices in future episodes. It's the Fetty Scum way to forget to do introductions at the beginning of episodes, so, you know, good luck. I'm currently working on another podcast for Dead Set Media called The Brosphere. It's an audio drama with many of the Fetty Scum cast being used as voice actors. Mostly because they're my roommates and it's easy to get them to do free work. It's a punk rock, secret agent, sci-fi comedy. You can follow Dead Set Media on Facebook to follow its progress. And also to check out Dead Set Media on YouTube to hear all of mine and Zach's various musical conquests. I again would like to address various audio issues. Matt started the episode talking into the mic backwards. We solved that problem, but it still ended up with a lot of room noise. Audio is the first thing we want to improve upon, so we start investing in better equipment and room treatment. Adam and Matt live about four hours from Zach, Cat, and I, so we're also thinking of different recording setups that might improve the quality of the episodes. So yeah, thanks for sticking it out with us, guys. And Matt is participating in a rodeo national championship in Tijuana, Mexico. It's being held at midnight at a local bar, which is odd, but Matt assures us that this is a normal occurrence and that he's pretty much a shoe in to win the grand prize. We'd like to wish Matt good luck in the 2019 Tijuana Bareback Horse Show. Okay, enjoy the rest of the episode. So uh, I'm going to speak to the guard and be like, he said something about friends. I highly doubt he has friends, but he said they were going to try to bust well, them out. I so, mean, his, uh, we just need to be careful. Every single cell here is filled with like fucking five fucking Zeeks. So that would, uh, that was probably who he's talking about. But I mean, Yeah, they're but all, they're all he said cells. friends. I don't, I just don't believe he has friends. Oh, uh, yeah, no, he's a complete asshole. I don't think he has any friends either, but, I mean... I think we need to up security. Uh, that's not really my decision, uh, but, uh... (laughs) You're right, big guy. You're all the security we need, I'll, like, tap his chest. Okay, you know, looking good. Uh, Oh, I think you're... I think you got, like, three inches on me, but whatever. What are you guys measuring here? Jesus, God, no, not that. Compliment. Too many dick jokes. Too many dick jokes. <laughs> Jesus, guy, just take a fucking compliment. And I walk off. Uh, we both look down at Gather's long uh, fucking dick. Uh, <laughs> Got a few inches on me there. It's fucking just hitting the floor. Too many. I hope dick this jokes. guy becomes a reoccurring character. We should he give him is. a name. I'm gonna call him Mark. 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 Too many M's. Too many M's. Too many. All right, M's. fine. He's gonna be called. Uh, He's going to be called Daniel. How about Daniel? That? I'm just going to say Danny. We're going to call him Daniel Seaman Boy. Daniel. Seaman Daniel. Or Danny. We'll call him Danny. How about that? Okay. I hope nothing happens to Seaman Danny. I hope Seaman Danny lives a long and prosperous life. Mm-hmm. Adam, do I have any weapons on me? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you would have a, a pistol sidearm. But uh, yeah, don't worry about that at the moment. But you would all of you would have a pistol sidearm that you were trained in. So, oh hell yeah, yeah, dude! You also would know how to use a rifle, but you probably wouldn't be carrying a rifle along with you since you're pilots, and that's mostly a side. You know, you just need a sidearm for in case you crash in enemy territory and stuff like that. I'm gonna um, go find my minty. If okay, um, 
if specifically you don't want to be carrying your sidearm for whatever reason, like you think it's in character or something that you would forget it, um, you need to tell me that you don't have it. Uh, I'm going to assume that you have it because that's what you're supposed to have on you. So anyone want to anyone want to admit they forgot their gun that morning? Hell no. All right. I always I got do. my piece on me. <laughs> really? Okay. I forgot mine in my bedroom. It's on my I bed. Thing on me. You left it on your bed. You folded your bed sheets and very nice. He tucked in his your, gun. Smoothed out your bed and then uh, accidentally just left your gun. Uh, we're <clears throat> we're gonna go to co-pilot now. Co-pilot. Okay. You we're on your way to the cafeteria, right? I'm sulking my way to the cafeteria. Oh, sulking! I don't want to do sulking? no bullshit. I just I joined the army to pilot and save lives, and they're making me hand out food to stupid people. This is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> On your way to the 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 cantina, is there like do, if you wanted to ignore orders, I guess you could since you're so. You know, I, I did forget my I did forget my gun. Huh. In my bedroom, on my bed. I probably should get that before heading to the cafeteria, because you never fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I, I guess that's fair. Uh, so if so you want to go back... Yeah, yeah I do want to head back to my room first. Alright, so you go back to where your bunk is. On the oh yeah, do me and... The little bunk. Do I have a room to myself, or do like me and Lone Star share a room? I think we talked about this, and we decided you had rooms to yourselves, but we just always you, had often, sleepovers. you often I mean, sleep meetings. over with each other. Yes. Um, I think that's what we decided, if I recall correctly. Yeah. All right, you find your gun. It's there on your bed, tucked in like you left it. Oh, sweet. Well, okay. Well, <laughs> right. uh, this, this didn't take as long as I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> So you, you, you put your gun back up, I guess. Unless you just want to leave it there and this was just an excuse. Um, uh, I'll put it in my holster just to, uh, you know. I guess uh, reluctantly I'm going to go see how this cafeteria gig is. If it's worth my time. All my right. precious soldier time. So as you are uh, leaving your room, uh, you you hear uh, the, the loud, uh, boisterous voice of uh, Lieutenant Topper kind of call out to you hey you co-pilot oh shit it's lieutenant topper i mean hey 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 hello sir so i uh heard you got put on cafeteria duty for uh handing out food to all those uh civilians we took on wow I just news gets around really quick on this ship huh <laughs> i was you know kind of listening um i just wanted to say you know you did a you did a good job out there I can be a bit of an asshole sometimes, uh, but, you know, you guys aren't that bad. Oh, oh, wow. You know, you know, I don't, I don't really understand why. We're complete but... losers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> I'm shook. That, you know, that hurt my feelings, Topper. I'm not going to lie. I was really thinking... <laughs> you were gonna be my new mentor. Fucking gives you a wedgie. You were gonna treat me nice. <laughs> Thought you were gonna be nice. You're gonna teach me a bunch of stuff, and we were gonna grow this crazy bond. And then you, <laughs> you just took that all away from me in an instant. <laughs> <laughs> well, go hand out food. And he fucking laughs and starts walking away. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> this is just not a good day for for a co-pilot. <laughs> Now co lunch lady, I guess. Yeah. All right, so you make it to the cafeteria, and um, in there, uh, it is kind of hectic. Meals are being kind of just slapdash thrown together, shoved into boxes, <clears throat> and then handed to people as quickly as possible. Um, there's a, a, a lot of rolling trays with a lot of extra boxes on there, and uh, that would be where you would uh, need to start handing them out. Okay, I'm going to go up and introduce myself. I'm like, Instant Cole Law, reporting for duty. Uh, you might have, you probably already know that I was supposed to come here. Yeah, you're the, you're the one who always asks for extra pudding, right? You're, that's you. Here's your extra pudding. No, wait, I'm here to work. <laughs> yeah, like, look, I, I remember you, all right? That's all I'm saying. You're not in trouble, kid. All right, just uh, 
ha you know, hand yeah. out these boxes to people. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, you're the pudding kid. I, I fucking remember you. Well, yeah, that's, that's actually the thing. What if someone asks for extra pudding? Oh wait, no, 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 them, right? no, 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 nope, nope, not anymore. Nope, nope. Strict, anymore? strict rationing from here to California base. What, what if I ask for extra pudding though? Mm, all right, maybe just for you, kid. But don't tell Ooh. anyone. <laughs> Holy shit! Well, I, I think Copilot likes this new job. <laughs> <laughs> this thing got a lot better. <laughs> I don't want to be a pilot no more. <laughs> you know, I like hey, to well. be a lunch lady. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go hand out the boxes I had. I'm gonna say I have like maybe four. Yeah. Okay. Right, so like, okay. Look at this child portion. Uh, I'm gonna give it to the first child I see. Okay. Uh, we got a we got a lieutenant portion. Hey, who's a lieutenant? Is there a lieutenant in here? There's a a, a random civilian. Is like I'm a lieutenant. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna give that to him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and um, okay, and then the pudding trays, the dessert box. I'm just gonna take that to the back, and I'm gonna write my name on it. <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> just something for later. All right. Hell yeah. Okay. Wow, this is tough work. Fucking <laughs> um, uh, so as you're working, uh, you you eventually hear uh, hear Tom, the janitor, call out to you. <clears throat> Copilot. Tom. Yeah. Hey, hey, man, dude. Wow. You got to help like me. Just yesterday I saw you. You got to help me. You got to help me, man. Oh, uh, what's wrong? So in the chaos of the attack, uh, I lost track of Johnny. <laughs> dude, that's fucked up, man. <laughs> no. How the fuck you do that? Crowds were moving, and I, I was only holding him by his hand, and he just got pulled away from me. And I, I looked down, it was know. just his hand. No, 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 <laughs> no, we're not. Rookie move, Tom, rookie move. <laughs> look, oh, look I'm, I'm, just a, I'm just a janitor. I can't walk. I don't have access to just walk wherever I want. Um, and, and I'm just one person. I, I, you know, I can't, you know, I, there's no way I can cover this entire ship to find him in time. Uh, so could, could you help me find Johnny? You can count on me. I'm going to pull out my pistol and cock it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, find I don't, him, Tom. I don't think uh, um, <clears throat> I don't think that's I don't think that's necessary. Listen, Tom, you cover for me here. I'll get our boy back. And the gun is right. for show. I won't use it probably. Okay. I, um, if you put that in the holster, I'd feel a lot better. And I, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll hand um, out the, I'll hand out the trays and stuff. If you just okay, that. okay. Promise me you won't hand out the tray in the back with my name on it. <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> Uh, y sure. Don't okay. fucking touch that tray, Tom. I don't care if like people are asking, like, where's the pudding box? All right, don't all right. Don't fucking right. touch that one. Stop waving the gun around. Put it in a holster. Okay, okay. okay. Calm down. Okay, put I put the gun back in the holster. I'll find our boy. I'll find my, all right, my just, son. No, don't call him that, please. Uh, <laughs> fine, fine, our son. No, nope, no, nope, that's not good either, but okay. All right. Where, where's the last time you saw him? Uh, so we got separated in um, <clears throat> in in the main hall, heading toward here, and I thought he would just continue to walk here, but uh, he's not. You know, he's not here. I looked around the room; he's not in. That boy has an adventurous spirit. He's a lot like me in that regard. Mm -hmm. He could have walked in a straight line, but something tells me something caught his eye. All right. I'll well I'm just gonna rewalk the hall a bit, and until that same thing catches my eye, because me and him are like, <laughs> we'll, we're very connected in that way, and then I'll pro it'll probably lead me right to him. All right. So can I roll sight? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can walk down the hall and roll sight. And search. Okay, let me roll yeah. some sight. <clears throat> I'll take my time doing it so you could think of something for me to see. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I got. There's I, a candy I, bar on the ground. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> the classic trail of candy trick. There's a child's <laughs> hand on the ground. <laughs> this is where his hand was disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a nine. All right, that's uh, that's a that's a mixed success. So walking down a hall, um, you do notice that a utility door is open that uh shouldn't be open um it's possible a civilian just bumped into it but that's basically the only lead you get well god damn it i'm taking it yeah 
So That's what call. catches my eyes. My childlike wonder is exploding. <laughs> mm, open closet. Is co-pilot in the closet? <laughs> a little, yeah, but I think he's <laughs> just going to enter it right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's just going to walk into this utility closet. All right, so you, you notice that uh, like immediately the there's a mop in here that is broken, and uh, the long stick part is missing. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Is that all I see? Yeah, that's the only thing that stands out here. Uh, the, the 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 rest is just filled with like cleaning supplies and stuff. Nothing of note. Okay, okay. I like how I get the um the de- the detective run. I didn't think I would um, mine was gonna go this direction. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> everyone has had their their little side session. So if you want to bring other people in on the investigation, uh, now would be the time to do it if you're kind of at a loss. Okay, I'm going to bring in my boy Lone Star. I knew he was in the med bay. All right, so you go to the med bay. Side note, I I didn't know if this was the time to mention this or earlier, but I was going to actually run to the cafeteria since I was done with my... Oh, then you would meet meet him in the hall when he uh, comes out of the utility closet. Co-pilot, there you are. What are you up to? I'm just trying to find our boy, our cool. son, our son, our protector. I pull you out know. my gun and cock my pistol too. <laughs> Let's find him. <laughs> Hell yeah! Okay, I'll show you my clues. So I was walking the hall, you know, to um, inspire childlike wonder. Of course, you know, like you taught me. Yes. Um, <laughs> and I saw this open closet. You know, like what's up with that? Yeah, dude, your childlike wonder must have been exploding by that point. Yeah. So I walked into the closet. And this is what this is the crazy part. This this mop is missing its handle. I'm like, holy who's gonna fucking mop with shit! It? I pull out my second pistol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> holy shit, <laughs> go pilot! <laughs> How the fuck are they gonna mop without the stick? Something is afoot. It's, it's, it's perplexing. <laughs> All I know is our our best friend Tom is really counting on us to find his boy going to switch together. <laughs> Got to find my mentee. Something's afoot. So you were... <laughs> 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 All right. Together. You said you're looking for co-pilot, yes? Yes. All right. So naturally, you're going to go to the cafeteria. Yes. Okay. But then I see him getting in a closet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> put, put a pin in that real quick. We're going to do tiny first since you're already heading in that fucking direction. <laughs> OK. All right. Tiny, we're back to you. You gave a rousing speech. Uh, spirits are, uh, you know, adequate. I guess that's what <laughs> would be appropriate for the speech. There's uh, repairs going on on the Zaku. The knee's going well. Uh, what do you want to do? Is there anything else I can do for Gather's vessel? Um, hmm. Let me look at your melodrama moves. Well, so, um, since you did choose this as your project, you could try to make some quick slapdash repairs with Act Quickly and get a okay. plus one from that. I'm just gonna, like, survey, like, Mm-hmm. All the metal scraps that we just have, like, lying around, you know, from yeah. all the repairs and damage. And I'm just going to, like, a, like, a literal, like, li- not really, but, like, a light bulb kind of thing goes <laughs> over my head. And I'm like, yeah, I know what's up. And I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of pieces. And then mm-hmm. um, I'm just going to kind of, like, Frankenstein some of the holes of the shit back. So I rolled an eight. I'm going to give uh, the tin cod some of its hull and some of its armor back. <laughs> but now it looks like a trash heap. Looks like a fucking Warhammer 40k orc built in. <laughs> it, 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 it's literally just being held together by the fact that Mad Gun believes it can fly. And Hell yeah. <laughs> you just got to believe. Fly. All right. Um, okay, so back to Tiny. What do you want to do now that you've made adequate repairs to the tin cod. It's like, you know, with all this flash drinking and cigarette smoking, I might need to have some food on my stomach. <laughs> yeah, you All of a sudden, have, I'm hungry. You have only smoked or drank this entire time. So. <laughs> 
I might be drunk, and so but, I yeah. kind of like start walking towards <laughs> the cafeteria, but then I'm really kind of walking sideways, and I'm like, I'm fine, <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> so everyone's heading to the cafeteria, except for those who are already close to its exterior. Now we'll go back to Mad Gun Gather. You are on your way back to the cafeteria to look for Copilot, yes? Yes. Okay. So while you're on your way back to go see Copilot, you see a small child running, like, kind of through a doorway. That's all you see of them. Um, and you could have swore that that child has a rifle. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> Impossible. Children, children don't know how to use weapons. Okay. <laughs> Unless they're like 13 and get drafted. That's one cool <laughs> baby. Alright, so I guess I'm I'm going to be like, that's really unusual. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you head in that direction, and as you do, uh, Lone Star and Co-Pilot come out of a closet. Also holding hey. our guns. Also holding I just saw a guns. kid with a weapon. I'm glad you guys have your weapons. We gotta chase him down. Whoa, shit. That's our that son. That might be Johnny. Just like us. <laughs> Why does your son have a weapon? Because he's just he like married? us. He is a childlike wonder. <laughs> Fucking badass. What? 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 Let's go. <laughs> Let's yeah. <get> him. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tiny, you uh, walk down in, uh, from the top of the deck and come into the hallway and basically just hear this last round of uh, huzzah, let's get them kind of talk going on. Uh, if they might want to get you up to speed real quickly. Uh, <laughs> so I, I imagine we're like we're like running all in a group now with our weapons drawn. I guess. We're like, you... Lieutenant Dancer, there's a kid with a gun, let's go. We're going to get him. <laughs> we all have our fucking guns out. God, like, no. Remember your breathing exercises. Thanks, Lieutenant. Oh, yeah, these are important, guys. She's right. Into we need the to... nose, out through the mouth, I think. We gotta breathe. <sighs> <sighs> All right, I'm good. And out. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? <laughs> our, our godson, Johnny, he's missing, and Gather think he saw someone. It might be so we're running it might after be our him. boy. He was a kid with a gun. I know what I saw. A kid with a gun's trying to kill our boy. Oh God. Okay, you go. A lot of conflicting. I follow. <laughs> <laughs> Is I'm it really a Gundam RPG questions. if there's no conflicting uh, information? Yeah, no, yeah, so. no conflict. You know, yeah. is it really Gundam? <laughs> yeah, right. if there's good communication, it's not Gundam. <laughs> You guys really need if to put it, your guns away, though. I, I saw yeah. some civilians over there, and they're like really freaking out hmm. while you're uh <laughs> running down the hallway uh some civilians poke their heads out and they just see you all like armed and running and they're like oh shit and they're just like, not, <laughs> not all of us okay so they see three of you <laughs> and still it's still the lion share <laughs> um, uh and so the, you know people are getting out of your way some other uh some federation soldiers are like what's going on there's a man dressed oh, as a what? kid trying to assassinate our son. What? <laughs> Sound the alarm. We have intruders on the ship. Wait, I just what? Have this, like, you? Are you sure like, about that? There's no time to explain. We've got to go. We Come on, go, Violet. <laughs> all right. Um... You guys go take cover under the tables in the cafeteria. Make all the civilians do the same. <laughs> Arm themselves, quick. <laughs> okay. So, um... <laughs> Is this a Xeon? We don't out. know, probably. <laughs> okay, so you arrive at the end of the hallway. There's only one place to go. It's a storage section where basically dry goods are stored for the ship. Guys, right. he's my he- son and Lone Star's son. <laughs> he's our Let son. Let me go in there. Let me go first. I'm just holding co-pilots back. Grabbing his shoulder. Like he's holding my hips. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding your hips. We're Congo walking into the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> into the fucking closet. I'm gonna jiggle the handle. Is it locked? <laughs> uh, no, it's open. Okay, I'm gonna ease it. Is there light in there? Uh, maybe a dim one deep in the room, but you can't see anything at the moment. They're like a light switch or something? What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> so I mean, there would be, but uh, I, I would question your, uh, 
decision to turn it on if you think people are in the room. Okay, okay, yeah, you're right. Thanks. Thanks, voice in my head of reason. Any time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm co-pilot's voice. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna whisper behind me. I'm gonna be like, tighter, tighter, Lone Star. Let's go. I got you. Let's go. Hold me. Let's find our son. Okay. I'm stepping in. I'm gonna do that thing where, you know, the cops enter a room and go, yeah, you know, point their gun. <laughs> All right, you do the thing. You do the thing where you clear the corners of the room. That's what that's called. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you clear the corners of the room. There's nothing here that you see. Um, it's kind of a maze of boxes and supplies, but you do hear talking in the background. All right, everybody be really quiet. Get close. <laughs> and then that's when I'm like still drunk at this point because I didn't eat. So I just kind of like stumble in and I'm just like, here, kitty, kitty. <laughs> oh, God, no. Yes. <laughs> Let me play with your rival. Give it to me. <laughs> are you uh, are you actually being that loud? Yes. Yeah, actually, I am. Do it. I'm so unaware. I, I, yes. Uh, oh, all right. <laughs> Okay, the sound that uh, you hear uh, of people talking in the distance, that abruptly stops. And then you hear uh, a grown man's voice say, God damn it, they found us! (gasps) And uh, you hear some running and some scuffling, and then around the corner, uh, very quickly, uh, comes Johnny. Uh, He screams... Like, they have guns. They were threatening me. They made me steal guns. Come close, son. Get <laughs> behind us. Oh, shit. Grab hey. your phone, son. Go back arrest to Arrest that boy. Don't arrest that boy. Yeah, I'll just okay. tell him to step outside of the, the room. Okay, so he, he, he goes out of the room. That's no problem. Wait, Johnny, um, do you have a gun? No, he, he doesn't. He's okay, not. here you go. Take this one. <laughs> Protect yourself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're very proud um, of you, son. He 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 gets to safety uh, after after he passes you guys, and then you you hear like, "God damn kid!" from in the room, and you hear like someone else say, "Just fucking trigger it. I don't care if we're ready or not." Oh, and then someone's like, "Really now? Really?" We're on the ship, really? Oh, yeah. shit. I'm going to shoot at the darkness. Oh, fuck. Uh, so you... F- okay. Um, <laughs> you're not aiming at anything, so that's not a roll. You can just do that, I guess. Yeah, I'm uh, shooting at the darkness. Actually, no. You take missed a the risk. darkness. Take a risk, please. No, you're you sh- fucking shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm hoping he's not shooting behind Mama. <laughs> No, I, I came in first, remember? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in front. <laughs> Eight, nine. All right, that's um, it's a mixed success. Unless you have uh some melodrama move. Nope. All right, so you shoot into the darkness. Um, it's a mixed success. Uh, you're like ah, they're shooting, <laughs> and then you hear some guy say, "Fuck it," and you hear a small click, <gasps> and there's a brief pause, very pregnant pause. And then there's a there's a, a shaking in the ship and some distant explosions. And then uh, the lights in the room turn on. And there's about five people dressed like civilians, some with guns, some without. One of them has uh, been winged in like the leg by a bullet. And that is the one that has also triggered some explosive remote device in their hand. He drops that pretty much as soon as he's already triggered it. We can all agree that wasn't my fault, right? That's that medium. Good.